In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make $300 per day with ClickBank affiliate marketing. Just a few nights ago, I saw one of my good friends, Matt Sabia, reply to my video. And he said, we're gonna make more money than Dan when I released my video on how we made over $400 with ClickBank following a very simple strategy. So I decided, let's turn this up a notch and let's make more money than Matt, just so I can prove to everybody that I can do it way better than Matt, way faster than Matt, way more strategical than Matt. Oh, and by the way, Matt, don't forget who has unlimited Facebook accounts, which means unlimited ad accounts, which means that I can burn through as many ad accounts as I want to go ahead and make more money than you did. So it's really nice how much you made, but let's not forget the super affiliate status. So now let's check out inside of my computer right over here. And as you can see, just in three days, we made $1,025.32. Now, I just ran this right over here just so I can go ahead in a fresh new ClickBank account so I can show you rather quickly that we're able to make over $300 average per day rather easily following this exact strategy that I'm about to share with you. Now, the strategy Matt shared with you is an absolutely great strategy. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Facebook ads as well, and I'm gonna show you how we structure our campaigns so we have the ability to scale to hundreds and even thousands of dollars per day. As a matter of fact, I wanna bring you into another account where you can see just this year alone, we've made over $150,000 in just this one account. Take a look at this. So right over here, if I just go into, and as you can tell, we have just uh, passive income coming in through here on this account. But if you go ahead and look at the reporting, as a matter of fact, I gotta go into paychecks to show you all of this. You can see right over here, $149,884.72 has been paid out to me in commissions just from this one ClickBank affiliate account. And we have multiple different ClickBank affiliate accounts. Now the strategy is simple. The very first thing we're gonna do is smash that like button right now so we can go ahead and rank higher in the algorithm and get more people to see strategies that actually work. And thank you so much for everybody who also supports this channel. But in reality, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to ClickBank and we're gonna click the sign up button and we're gonna register an account for you. So again, just make sure you fill out all of this information with your correct credentials. Now, once you sign up for ClickBank, it's gonna prompt you with a dashboard like this. Now, what you have to do is you have to go over to the side over here and click on this little accounts tab. So if you see the accounts tab right over here, click on it. And then what you're gonna be able to do is under the account, you'll see the nickname, you can actually click create an account right over here. And then you're able to create a brand new ClickBank account. And the reason why they do this is because you can create multiple different ClickBank accounts under one master account. Now, this is really useful if you wanna promote a lot of different offers in a lot of different niches. So you can click create account, you create an account, and I'll just log into one of these accounts right over here. Now this is, of course, a brand new account, uh, and this isn't the one that I use for the case study, it's just one that we have over here when we wanna test different offers. So in order to get to the marketplace, there's a little marketplace tab right up here where my mouse is, and you can click marketplace, and it'll take you to the marketplace, and you're able to see all these offers. Now, here's all the categories of different offers that you can go ahead and promote in. However, something that wasn't shared with you before is that you have the ability to use a source called cbengine.com to sort through the highest converting offers on ClickBank right now. So take a look at this. Rather than going through all of these offers, we can go to cbengine.com and we're able to take a look at all of these different offers. But what we wanna do is click on top ClickBank vendors right over here. So on the left hand side, top ClickBank vendors. And then what we wanna do is we wanna click on gravity. So where it says gravity right over here, we're gonna click gravity. And for the record, what gravity means is how many affiliates are promoting that offer. So one gravity means one affiliate made one unique sale or more. So if one affiliate made 10,000 sales, it would still only count as one gravity. So the more gravity a product has, that means the more affiliates are making sales, which is a very, very good sign. So we see Resurge. Now Resurge is a great offer that we promote as well. Then we have Proven, Steel Bite Pro, Custom Keto Diet. And as you can tell, these gravities are really high. 
But what we do is we stick with the products that have the highest gravities. And so we typically remain in the health and fitness niche as well, because most of the time it's health and diet, these offers that have the highest gravity scores. So what you're able to do as well is if you go back to ClickBank and you go to health and fitness, right? You just click the health and fitness. You're able to see proven and research. Now proven, you could see 360 right over here and then research. You can three, see 367 for the gravity right over here as well. So the other thing we have to keep in mind is that all of these have what's called affiliate tool pages. So if you just go ahead and take a look at getproven.net slash affiliates or research.com slash affiliates, you're able to take a look at all of the resources that they provide and everything about this product. Now, if you scroll down and you'll see this little opt-in box, you're able to opt in for their uh, kind of like resources and their updates. But if you go ahead and say, no, thanks, I'm not interested in getting bonuses and updates, just take me to the tools. They'll take you to the entire tools page that has the affiliate link creator, the banners, the product images, keywords, email swipes, the FAQ and contact us. Now, something else that was never told to you, you're actually able to put your Facebook pixel on the vendor's website. So when you get a purchase, you can track that purchase inside of Facebook. So check this out. So my cousin and I run ClickBank affiliate offers through Facebook all the time. Now, what's really interesting is you're able to go ahead and email them saying, hello, Jackie from research. I was just curious if I would be able to put a lead pixel on the sales page instead of a purchase pixel. I appreciate your time in advance. So rather than going ahead and tracking purchases, we ended up tracking leads for this particular campaign. And so we got an email back saying you need your CBID, the exact hop link and your complete pixel code. And they will gladly put your pixel on their thank you page. So when you get a sale, you're able to track the sale that happens if you use a purchase pixel, or you're able to track the lead because they can put it on their sales page as well. Now it's crazy because these vendors have a unique way to place unique pixels. So it only fires off for you and you can't just go ahead and track everybody's traffic. It's like your own little page that they create for you, which is pretty unique. So we go ahead and we place our pixel and we just send our particular uh, affiliate URL. And so our affiliate URL is specifically tracked for us. So when we capture leads, they go to the sales page. We're able to track all of those leads so we can optimize for leads inside of Facebook. Now, Chris, I know you're watching this video and I apologize ahead of time, but here is a proven winning offer. Now for the record, we got our images from affilustrations.com. I highly suggest using affilustrations if you want to get the exact illustrations made for affiliate offers. They convert exceptionally well and they work. I mean, oh man, they work so, so well when it comes down to getting high click through rates on your ads. So right over here, we have the landing page and you'll be able to see the landing page as well. Now for the record, if you want to go ahead and copy this, feel free. This is a winning, uh, as you can tell in the beginning, this is a winning product landing page and it's also winning targeting and ad copy. So you're able to copy it and I'm telling you right now, you will see results. I promise you that. So here's the landing page that we used and I'll teach you how to create all of this in just a few minutes. So this is the landing page and if you click on click here to watch video, it takes you right to the offer itself. And again, individuals or potential customers have the ability to buy the bottles here. And so what we did was targeting, right? Male, female, 35 plus USA targeting weight loss. Um, and he said there's two, but uh, this one has more people. So it's performing better. And so the headline was 92.7% of people have no idea this routine exists. The copy is my friend won't stop asking me what has changed. I recently caught up with an older couple that lived on my block for some coffee and I was impressed by how they looked. Now I'm not going to read the whole thing because your time is valuable. And again, you can just pause the video and you know, read this, or you can take a look at the description down below and I'll put an image of it for you to go ahead and reference. But this is a winning product, winning landing page, winning ad copy. This is all winning. I, I promise you that right now you're going to see results. Buckle up, baby. Are you kidding me? As a matter of fact, Take a look at this. I got a message from my cousin and says, um, yo, have you been using any landing pages with my ClickBank ID on it? 
And so I said, <laughs> probably. And the reason I said probably is because he opened up one of our ClickBank accounts and it's pretty insane. We actually left an ad account running by accident. And so as you can tell, we totally forgot about this ad account. He checked it to go ahead and grab another affiliate link to test an offer and saw that $400 was made, 80, 160, close to 300. So again, this works exceptionally well. It converts and we know it does. So use it, I promise you that it'll work. So now that we used CB Engine, we know it converts. We also went to the affiliate tools page where you can grab all the tools. The next part of the process is to actually create a page. Now again, we need to create what's known as a landing page or a bridge page. Now what I'll tell you is a landing page is slightly different from a bridge page, but you can use them in the same exact way. So a landing page is meant to capture leads. So landing pages are exactly like the ones that I'm showing you on your screen right now that capture leads and those leads, we constantly market to them via email marketing using autoresponders like sendlane.com or uh, you know multiple different autoresponders, but we use sendlane.com because they are the best when it comes to deliverability. And so a bridge page bridges the offer. So think about it like this. You have Facebook all the way over here. You have your offer uh, all the way on the right hand side. And then you have your bridge page right in the middle. So essentially when somebody comes from Facebook to your bridge page, it bridges the actual offer from the actual click because Facebook isn't very friendly when it comes to direct linking with affiliate offers. Just keep that in mind. So you never want to direct link your affiliate offer on Facebook or else you're just asking to get immediately banned. So now that we have a ClickBank account, now that we have an offer that we can promote, now that we know we can email the affiliate manager and ask them to place our pixel on it, what we need to do is three last things. Number one is create the bridge page. Number two is run ads. And number three, technically it would be number two first, is get our designs from Affilistrations. So I'm gonna order these designs, I'm gonna wait a little bit, and I'm gonna tell them, hey look, do you mind rushing it because I'm making a video, and more than likely, they'll go ahead and rush it. So with that being said, give me a few moments, I'm gonna order from Affilistrations, and hopefully in a few hours, we have our illustrations ready to run. So now the next phase is to actually go ahead and create one of these bridge pages. And I'm gonna give you examples of different bridge pages and landing pages that you can go ahead and use. Now, let's hop into my computer so I can show you how to create these. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you're using ClickFunnels or another landing page creator, just make sure that you go ahead and make them look relatively similar to these. So right over here, uh, this is one of our offers, or a lot of our offers. And so this is the landing page, or the bridge page, excuse me, that was performing exceptionally well, and the offer that I told you to run. So as you can see, strive to see how I changed, uh, striving to see how I changed life. Kick back, relax, we have the answers. See how this easy two minute afternoon habit, uh, excuse me, habit gave the greatest night's sleep. Click here to watch video. And if you click here, it goes directly to the actual offer. Now this converts exceptionally well. However, we have uh, another route that we go down. We actually collect the email so we can go ahead and advertise to them via email marketing. So for the ease of this video and for the simplicity of individuals who don't wanna create email campaigns and you wanna make more money, then I suggest using a bridge page rather than capturing emails if you're a beginner. So pages like I just shared with you right over here, you can go ahead and use something similar or you can go ahead and use something exactly like this. Now what I would suggest is putting the Affilistrations image right over here so it matches the ad that you create. And again, if you wanna keep it very simple, high converting and the click-through rate, which is very important, really high, relatively high, then you wanna create a simple page like this as well. So again, with that being said, what I wanna talk about now is the actual way to run Facebook advertisements, and then I'll give you an example after I teach you the correct strategy to run these ads, because again, it's not just as simple as throwing up an ad, and there you go, you're ready to go. So let's talk about Facebook advertisements, and let's just jump into my computer one more time so I can show you and share with you the exact strategy that we use that works 100% of the time. So let's do this right now. 
So the strategy is actually quite simple. What we want to do is know the difference between a CBO and an ABO. So a CBO is campaign budget optimization. So it optimizes on the campaign level. An ABO is ad set budget optimization and it optimizes on the ad set level. Now there's two ways that you can go ahead and run these campaigns. Now the way that we do it is a little bit different than everybody else. So what we like to do is we actually like to start off with low budget ABOs or we do higher budget CBOs and we run it on daily. So for simplicity purposes, and I know not everybody has $250 to spend every single day, I'm going to teach you about ABOs and how they work. So here's what I want to show you. So right over here, you have campaigns, right? And under campaigns, you actually have the ad sets. So I'm going to put ad set and then these ad sets contain the actual ads or AKA creatives. So these are the images from a illustrations. And so the campaign budget optimization would be optimized over here, but we're going to set the budget on this level over here. So when it comes down to ABOs, what we're going to do is we're going to have the campaign in totality. So from the campaign, we're going to have multiple different targeting interests. So this particular interest can go ahead and be weight loss, right? So weight loss. And this one can be keto, for example. This one can be fitness, for example. And then the last one can be weight watchers, right? As a brand. Now here's what we want to do as well. We want to use a little bit of common sense. So when we're targeting these, okay, these particular interests, we want to go ahead and target, you know, predominantly women, but we can test men and women, oops, men and women between the ages of 30 and 55 that live in the United States of America. Now it can be tier one countries. So you can go ahead and do USA. You can do Canada. You can go ahead and do New Zealand. You can go and do Australia, but we like to target USA when we're first starting off. Now, once we have our particular targeting, we go ahead and we do something very simple. We add three creatives in each ad set. Now for everybody wondering how much the budget we start off with, we actually start off with anywhere from 15 to $25 per day. So 15 to $25 per day per each ad set. And we'll run typically four to 10 different ad sets in the actual ad set budget optimization. Now you're probably asking, well, Dan, if you start off with $250 for a campaign budget optimization and you're running 10 ad sets, wouldn't that equal to the same amount? And yes, in which case it would. And that's why I said we use CBOs depending on how many interests we run because we want Facebook to optimize these ad sets. But again, like I said, I understand not everybody has $250 to spend per day or thousand dollars in four days. So we go ahead and we're going to optimize at anywhere from 10 to 15 a day for yourself and you can run five ad sets. So that will cost you $50 per day rather than $250 per day. Now we have creative number one, creative number two, and creative number three. Now the minimum amount that I would suggest for creatives would be two creatives. However, we run three to five creatives whenever we go out there and run a campaign. And the reason being is because we want Facebook to find the best ad and we want to know which ad has the highest click through rate. And we also want to know which ad has the highest, uh, excuse me. We want to know which ones have the highest, why am I getting this wrong? Purchases. So we can optimize for, let's just say ad number one is getting us all the purchases and a high click through rate. Then we can go ahead and kill these two and just focus on ad number one. When we create more ad sets or we create more campaigns. Now I know this is pretty confusing. So what I would do is I would rewatch this. And like I said, we're a little bit more advanced here when it comes down to running Facebook ads. So again, this is what we predominantly focus on. Now let me break this down a little bit more simpler for everybody who doesn't understand. So right over here, 
Let's go ahead and just talk about this again. We have campaign, we have ad set, and then we have creatives. So these are the images from a illustrations. So from campaign, what we do is we go ahead and we create for simplicity purposes, three ad sets and each ad set has different targeting. So it can be fitness, it can be weight loss, and then it can just go ahead and be weight watchers, right? So again, from these particular interests that we're targeting, what we're going to do is we're going to run three creatives in each ad set. And the reason being, like I said before, is we want to take a look at click through rate and we want to take a look at the cost per every thousand impressions. And we also want to take a look at which ad is getting us the purchases. So then we can go ahead and make sure we're only focusing on that one ad and then we can go ahead and kill the other two ads. So that's in a nutshell, how we run our ABO campaigns. Now for everybody wondering how we run our CBO campaigns. So we optimize on the campaign level. So again, this is the campaign. Now what we do is we set a daily budget of a bare minimum of $30 per every ad set. So let's just say we're running three ad sets. So again, fitness, weight loss, right? And then we have weight watchers. So what we would do is spend $90 per day because 30, 30 and 30. And what we would do again is have anywhere from three to five creatives. And the reason why we have a little bit more creatives in here is because Facebook will actually allocate all of your daily budget to the one that's performing the best, the ad set that's performing the best. So if fitness got us 10 purchases, weight loss got us two, and then Weight Watchers got us zero, Facebook will stop spending on Weight Watchers and they'll also allocate a little bit of money to weight loss, but they'll predominantly allocate all of your budget, all of the $90, roughly I would say 70 or so, to fitness. And then they'll know which one's getting all the purchases. And then over here, on the creatives or ad level, they'll know which two or three or one creative is getting you all the sales and then they'll stop showing the other creatives. Now, in my opinion, which one is the better one to run? Well, here's my opinion. It's that CBO is definitely a lot better to run, but it requires more of a budget you'll actually get better results from a CBO than you will with ad set budget optimization. However, it requires a lot less capital for ad set budget. And the other thing that you need to know is not every ad account is created the same. Some ad accounts perform better with ad set budget optimization, while other ad accounts perform better with campaign based optimization. So let me show you right now how to create an ad set budget optimization because that's what I want you to use to see the best results. So let's dive back into my computer so I can show you how to create ad set budget optimization campaigns. So let's go and do that right now. So we're here in one of my warmed up accounts. Now, for those of you wondering, I have a lot of accounts at my disposal. What I do is I warm up each account and I go ahead and spend roughly 150 to $200 for all the accounts that I warm up. Now you don't necessarily need to spend that much. You can spend $50 to $75 to warm up an account. And the reason why we warm up accounts is so that we can go ahead and get a lot of ads approved. Because if we get more ads approved, then Facebook is more inclined to go ahead and approve our affiliate campaigns. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to create an ad based on this right here this campaign and a illustrations came back and already gave us our ads and you can find these ads right over here. And so here are the ads that a illustrations came back and created for us. Now these are great ads that we can use. And so back to Facebook ads manager, we would click create and what we would do is we'd click on conversions right over here. Now from conversions, we would go ahead and click continue. 
Now, really quickly, name your campaign something that throws Facebook off a little bit. So you don't wanna seem like you know exactly what you're doing and you're watching a video like this. So you can just go ahead and put something like my first ad campaign, right? Now, you're gonna to wanna to keep track, but you never want to use keywords like weight loss or fitness or anything like that in your titles. You don't wanna use it in your ad set names or your ad names. And the reason being is because Facebook tends to ban rather quickly. And also, I wanna go ahead and let you know, once we get to the ad level, your page name has a huge impact on whether or not your account gets banned. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. So if you scroll down, you'll notice campaign budget optimization. In our case, we're gonna leave it off, but if you were to click it on, that means CBO. So daily budget, as you can see, we have it set to 20. Um, I don't really know why it's set to 20, to be quite honest with you. It typically goes ahead and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's lifetime. So lifetime will be $700. And you can see um, that it looks higher than usual, but it's okay, daily budget, ah, there we go. So it puts it to 100, but we're gonna leave this off, okay? And we're gonna go into new ad set, and we're gonna call this first ad set. And what we wanna do is click on website. Now I don't have a pixel associated with this particular ad account, but we would wanna create a pixel, and then what you would do is you would click on leads once you go ahead, or purchases, depending on what you're optimizing for, and if, like I mentioned before, you have your actual uh, pixel on the vendor's particular site. And so you can scroll down here and do something pretty unique. Now this is a little bit more advanced. You can use dynamic creatives, but we're not gonna do that today. So what we're gonna do is daily budget, we'll set this to $15. Now what I would suggest doing is starting the campaign at midnight Facebook time, which means because they're in California, if I were to convert Eastern time to Facebook time, it would actually be 3 a.m. in the morning because I am three hours ahead. So the campaign would actually start at midnight because, and the reason why is simply put, because I want the campaign to run for an entire day. If the campaign were to start and get approved immediately, it would actually spend that entire budget until Facebook resets at midnight again. I'd rather have the entire budget spread out over the course of the day rather than it spending rapidly. So again, we'll scroll down and what we'll do is location, we'll leave it to United States. Age, if you remember before, we have male, female, 35 plus, all right? So what we'll do over here is age 35 plus, right? And we'll leave it as is to 65 plus. And genders, we'll do all genders. And for detail targeting, what we'll do for detail targeting is weight loss. Pretty simple, right? So we'll do weight loss over here. And you'll just see, make sure it says interest and make sure that you find the one that fits the category of weight loss. So when it comes down to weight loss, you'll see that there's a lot of different weight loss targeting. Now you have weight loss over here in capital letters and then you have weight loss over here uh, in, again, excuse me, this one's capital letters and this one is just weight loss. So what you can do is just pick one of these. As you can tell, these have different uh, audience sizes. Now I'm just gonna pick the one with capital letters, but you can also go ahead and click suggestions, right? And then go and just do weight loss again and grab the other targeting demographic. So weight loss and we'll grab the other interest, weight loss right over here. And now we have a total, make sure this is unchecked. Now we have a total of 17 million people between the age of 35 and 65 plus in the United States that are interested in weight loss. Now, this is very important. For placements, we're gonna click on manual placements and we're going to uncheck messenger and audience network. And we're also going to uncheck Instagram Explore Facebook right column, Facebook video feeds, Facebook marketplace, and we'll leave Instagram and Facebook newsfeed. And so stories, what we're gonna do is uncheck Facebook stories. Now in stream, we're gonna uncheck in stream as well. We're also going to uncheck search, and we're going to uncheck in article, 
and we'll go ahead and make sure app and sites are also unchecked. So the only things we want checked is Facebook newsfeed, Instagram feed, and Instagram stories. So the optimization and delivery, this is more so for advanced users for manual bidding. Now we're gonna click on new ad, and what we're gonna do is if you take a look at my pages, you'll see that I have our well-being. Now, like I mentioned before, you want to go ahead and use words like well-being rather than weight loss and fitness and all of that because those keywords are actually triggers for bands. So again, we have our well-being as our page and you selected page as Instagram account. So what we're going to do is single image or video. And then for the media, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just click add image. We're going to click upload over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to desktop of illustrations, and we're going to grab the very first illustration over here, and it's gonna take just a few seconds to upload. We're gonna click next, and we'll go ahead and just click done. So once we have that, we're actually going to use our primary text, AKA the copy, and we're gonna grab this, and we're gonna paste it into our primary text, and now, we're also going to grab the headline right over here and we'll place it into the headline right over here. So for description, we can leave the description as is. Now for website URL, this is where you're gonna put your particular bridge page. Now for your bridge page and for ours, we have this particular uh, web page that we went ahead and created. So let me just grab this let me just paste it in the website URL. And then we're gonna grab this little www link and we're gonna put it on the display link. And then what you can do is you can change the particular call to action. So we're gonna leave it to learn more. Now, this is also very important. You see your first ad, ad set campaign. What we're gonna do is under new ad, we're gonna click on the little three action menu uh, circles. We're actually gonna click on duplicate and we're gonna duplicate this two times and we're gonna uncheck show existing reactions. Make sure original campaign is also checked off. We're gonna click duplicate and it's gonna say new ad copy copy. So we're gonna only click on one of these and we're gonna just put two and we're gonna scroll down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to click the little remove all under add creative. We're gonna to go to add media again, add image, upload. We're gonna upload the actual other image and it's going to upload it. We're gonna click next. We're gonna click done. Now we're gonna to go to new add copy, right? And then we're going to go ahead and just write three over here. We're going to scroll down. We're gonna click the trash can one more time. We're gonna click add media, add image. We're gonna click upload one more time and we're gonna upload the last particular, uh, the last particular add image that we have. We're gonna click done. And now what we have is three different creatives. As you can tell right over here, we're using three different creatives and everything else stays the same. So there's nothing that gets changed but we're just using different images so we can find the ones that perform the best. So when it comes down to finding the ads that perform the best, what you wanna keep in mind is CPM, which means the cost per every 1,000 impressions. And you also wanna keep in mind CTR, which is click-through rate, which essentially means people who see the ad click how many of them go to the actual site. And for rule of thumb, anything above six or 7%, and again, that's kind of standard six or 7%, but anything above that, you have a really good winning campaign on your hands. So that's how you go ahead and you create one of these Facebook ads. Now the devil's in the details. You wanna go ahead and try to run as many different landing pages as you possibly can. And so when it comes down to running Facebook ads, you already saw how we went out there and made a few hundred dollars every single day. Now this is one of the easiest methods that you can go ahead and follow to also make a few hundred dollars every single day. So that's exactly what I wanted to share with you here today. If you follow this exact strategy, you will make money. I promise you that right now. 
However, you want to be a little strategic when it comes down to creating bridge pages and you don't want to copy the bridge page exactly. You want to create your own variations. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button if you want more like this. And also make sure you subscribe with notifications so you can get notified when I release more videos and more case studies like this. So with that being said, DanFam Notification Squad, thank you for being here and I can't wait to release the next video where we talk about more in-depth affiliate case studies. I'll catch you then.